this is Kyra. In this video, we're going to be talking about vacation rental properties, specifically VRBO. Now, VRBO stands for Vacation Rentals by Owner. It is very similar to Airbnb, but we are able to work with VRBO by booking it through Expedia Tap, okay? So these are just your standard rental properties that people can rent out by the owner or by the property management group on a short-term basis. So here I am on Expedia tab. We're gonna go over an example of a VRBO that you can book through here. I'm gonna put in San Antonio, Texas as our destination. I'm gonna put in some dates that we're gonna look at here for a rental property. And we're going to do for adults, um, two children, there we go, ages 12 each, okay? So I go ahead and put these things in here, the six travelers that we have in this example, okay? Four adults, two children just for training purposes. So six total people, and I'm going to click search. So that was under the properties tab on Expedia. So you can see here our options come up and it's going to be a mix of hotels, uh, resorts potentially, vacation rental properties, condos, etc. So we are going to take advantage of these filters over here on the left hand side. So we can filter by quite a few things. But first off, I'm going to go down to property type. Now, if you're looking in a destination that has a lot of vacation rentals, you and you're looking for a hotel, you may want to a filter by hotel. But in this case, we are looking for a private vacation home for this example, just a private home just for this group who's traveling. And that's going to eliminate a lot of the um, condos from our search criteria. So let's add another filter here. We're going to scroll down to number of bedrooms. Let's say this group needs three rooms, two adults in a room, two adults in a room, and the two kids are gonna share a room. So we can actually filter by number of bedrooms all the way from studio to four or more bedrooms. Let's click on three. And you'll see each time I apply a search criteria or a filter, it's going to refresh my results. I'm gonna scroll down here some more. You can filter by location, neighborhood, if you are looking for a specific place or wanna be near a certain attraction. But we also have our amenities here. So let's go under see more. These are the amenities that we are able to filter on in Expedia tap when it comes to vacation rental properties. So let's say this group really wants a pool. So pool is a great option. Now, if it's if they're traveling with pets, you want to note that because there are pet friendly properties. Maybe they need some of these other things nearby, like a washer and dryer. They want one of those. You can filter by that. For this example, we're just going to go with a pool. Okay, so we filtered it down to something that's close to what our pretend client is looking for. So here we have the cheerful three bedroom home. You'll note here it says entire home by VRBO. That means this is a specific listing for a VRBO. Expedia Tap does have other vacation rental properties available besides VRBO, but for this training, we're looking at VRBO. You'll see this sleep six, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Here's some of the highlights. Here is the per night rate and the total. Now, when you're talking about vacation rental properties, there are a lot more fees involved than just per night. There's taxes, sometimes cleaning fees, service fees. We'll look at that a little bit more. Something else to note is the commission tier. Now Expedia Tap offers four commission tiers when it comes to accommodations. This one here is basic plus, you'll see it has two bars. This one down here has one bar, this is your basic. So this is gonna be a lower commission. So we always wanna look for properties that are uh, two to four bars is my recommendation. Now, when it comes to vacation rentals, you may not find very many that are four bars. Two bars in this example is pretty good. So let's click on the cheerful three bedroom home. It's gonna pull up here for us. And we are going to have all the details that we need to know about this VRBO property. We can go up here, click on the pictures, and I'll be showing you a quote in a moment of how you can use these pictures for your clients to share with them. So we have our photos there. 
the name, the reviews, you can see this has 26 reviews. When you're talking about vacation rentals, reviews are very important uh, because you want to know how other people had positive experiences or negative experiences at this property. Again, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. This is a VRBO. Some of the popular amenities here, you can see all of them. The location, how close is it to some of the local attractions? Depending on your client, there may be something that's important there to note. Scrolling down, they are going to give you the breakdown of the beds in each bedroom. So we can see these are three queen beds. Maybe that doesn't work for your client. Maybe they need king beds. Maybe they want twin beds. That's something to definitely take a look at when you're doing your research. And then also for the bathrooms, these are bathtub shower combos. Maybe you want just a shower. Maybe accessibility is important. Those are all details to know. And then we have our about this property. You always want to read all of this information here because it is going to be relevant to your client. And then we have a full list of the amenities. So you can see everything they're listing here. Policies such as check-in time. This is very important. Uh, vacation rental properties typically have later check-in times and earlier check-out times so they can clean the property. Minimum age, something to note as well. No pets allowed in this uh, particular example. Cancellation policies, some other important information as well. And again, before you quote this for your client, you want to read all of the details. So let's take a look at the price here. This is listed as fully refundable by this date. We have a little breakdown of the price here, but we're not getting an exact total. So I'm gonna go down here to generate quote. This is a quote that you can send to your client for this property if you so choose to do so. I'll show you my example here shortly, but you can customize this, add your logo, update the information to your information. And it's going to give them the details of the property. We can see here on our price overview, there's uh, $150 per night. The taxes, the property fee, and the service fee, that's what's included here. Some properties may have a higher per night rate, but lower service fees. So take a look at the total because the per night rate may not actually give you a good idea of which properties are more expensive than others. So we have this $963.95 as the total price for these dates for this property. So I'm going to go over here to VRBO itself. So this is VRBO.com. When you are looking at these VRBOs, you should also be checking it on the consumer facing website. This is not a travel agent website. This is a consumer facing website. Let me X out of this Rakuten here. So you would go in here, put your destination, your dates and your travelers again when we pull up the property. Now I've already gone ahead and pulled this property up on VRBO. I entered the search parameters that we used on Expedia tap as well as the dates and the number of people. And you'll notice it's named the same thing, cheerful three bedroom home. This is gonna help you match a property from Expedia tap to VRBO. And again, you should be checking here because you wanna make sure that you have the same price. You wanna make sure that you have the most correct information because it is possible there's a slight difference and the VRBO is gonna be your most reliable source. You also have the same photos here, very helpful. They may be displayed a little different Differently. And you'll see here over here on our total, I'm not going to scroll through all of this, but you can see that we have all of the same information here on VRBO because it is imported over to Expedia tap. But let's look at the total $840. Okay, this is a lot less than what we were looking at at Expedia tap. But note that this does not include the tax. A lot of consumer facing websites are not going to include the tax till the very end. They're very sneaky about that, but we are travel agents and we want to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. So I'm going to click price details here. You'll see these uh, prices are the same as what we saw on Expedia tap and it is rounded up in this example to 964. If we go back to Expedia tap, it was about 963 and some cents. So this is just rounded up. So we know we have the same total here. Okay, so that's a good sign for us. That means if our clients look this up, they're most likely going to find the same price that we are quoting them because this is the VRBO price. Now, I do want to mention if your clients send you a link to an Airbnb that they are interested in for booking, 
you very well may find that Airbnb on VRBO or on other vacation rental sites because a lot of owners cross list their uh, properties on multiple sites. Okay, so if your client comes to you with this VRBO listing or this Airbnb listing, you can reverse look it up on Expedia tap to see if it's available to us as well. So that's a rundown of searching VRBOs on Expedia Tap. I want to show you an example of a quote I've done for a VRBO on Expedia Tap, okay? This is a very different search criteria. It's a girl's trip to Las Vegas. And this quote was put together on Adobe Express. It's a free software. This is the web page category. And I compiled this together with the information for the clients. So you can see I listed some of the highlights, the room configurations, price breakdown, and I showed some photos. So I copied some photos from Expedia Tap or VRBO and I pasted them into this web page quote for my client. I prefer this option to the Expedia Tap quote because it's branded for my business with all of my information. So you can see here's a second example with a different price, different photos. So these photo grids are really great. Again, this is an Adobe Express quote in the web page format or template option that they offer just to give you an idea idea of how you could do an Expedia Tap VRBO quote on your own. I like this because it's really easy to use pictures and break down the information. So I hope that was helpful for you. Vacation rental properties are in high demand. Clients ask for them all the time. And this is a great way for you to go about searching them when you're looking for a VRBO. Always go to Expedia Tap because that is where we earn commission. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the future training videos.